In this video, I'll show you how to create shipping rules for your online store. To get started, log in to your Web Starts account and click on the Store Application panel. Next, click on the Shipping tab. You'll have two shipping rules by default, one labeled Domestic, the other labeled Rest of the World. Shipping products domestically, like to the United States and from the United States, is more affordable than shipping them from the United States to somewhere internationally, like let's say Japan. For that reason, you'll want to define shipping rules depending on the regions where you're willing to ship to. I'm going to edit my domestic rule. Once I click the edit icon, I can change the rule name as well as the destinations where the rule applies to. Next, I can choose my shipping option calculation method. I can choose free shipping, flat rate shipping, or I can choose from rate by weight, price, quantity, and I can use a UPS calculator. If you choose the UPS calculator option, do note that you'll need to enter a ship from address so it can properly calculate the rates. Choosing the flat rate option, I can give my delivery options names, like for example, standard, and then I can enter three to five business days as the delivery time, and then I can enter at whatever rate I want to charge for that particular shipping method. If I want to offer free shipping over a certain dollar amount spent, I would just enter that into the field below with that box check. I can also add additional delivery options. Let's say I wanted an express or overnight delivery option. I would name that overnight and then I would say that it's delivered overnight and then I would assign it a rate. You can also add a handling fee by checking this box and entering the desired handling fee into the field provided. When you're ready to update your shipping rule, just click update shipping rule and then you're returned to the shipping page. If you ever want to enable or disable a shipping rule, you can do that using the toggle switch and you can delete a shipping rule by clicking on the trash can. You can add a new shipping rule just by clicking add rule, giving the rule a name, selecting the destinations where that rule applies to, and then going back and setting up your delivery options.